Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today we're going to continue our retro arch series where we are starting from top to bottom. So we've already done one video on this to get you all started and make sure you're up to date with everything. Now we're going to add some games and today I'm going to use NES as my games list just to keep things simple. So the first thing I would do is go into my RetroArch folder, right click, new folder, and just we're going to name that ROMs, and we're going to double click to go inside, and depending on the system you're using, I'm just using NES, and here are my games. So inside the ROMs folder, I'm going to create new folder NES. And we'll go inside there. So what I've done here is I have two versions. So a zipped game and then non-zipped game, .nes files. But they're also a different naming convention. So I'm just going to copy these and paste them into my ROMs folder for NES. Now we're going to want to go back to RetroArch. So up, up. And we're going to open it up. So retroarch.exe, double click. And right now, we don't have anything. So before we go to import content, there's one thing that I like to do is I like to go to my settings. And I like to scroll down until I get to directory. So we're going to go to directory. And when we scroll up a bit, we'll go from the bottom here. We have all these different directories. That we can use. So I like to go to file browser, click it, and then go to where your retro arc is placed. So mine is on my desktop. So I'm going to go to C users, I'm PC on mine, whatever your username is, desktop, there's my RetroArch folder, and then I'm going to go to ROMs. I'm not going to go into the NES folder. I'm going to use the ROMs directory. So click use this directory. And I'm using a mouse, so I would right click to go back. Now we're going to go to import content. And I like to do manual scan content directory will now start us at our right in our ROMs folder. So we don't have to go through that every time we want to add games for a different system. As long as we have the different system folders in here, which I'll show you in a later video, you're good to go. So I'm going to click NES, scan this directory, system name. So I'm going to scroll all down until I get to the system I'm using, which is the Nintendo Entertainment System and the default core, I'm going to use FCEUMM as my default core. File extensions I usually leave alone. Uh, for, for NES, I'm going to click on Scan Inside Archives because one of my games is a zip folder. And then at the very bottom, Start My Scan. Scan Complete. So I'll right click to go back and now we have the Nintendo Entertainment System over here. And there is our games. So if I click on a game, I get some options here and I can change the core if I so choose or I can download thumbnails. So let's see. There we go. And that's for Zelda. Let me just make sure I am muted. There we go and I'll click run. And there's Zelda. So we are up and running. Now I'll press escape twice to go back. And I've exited RetroArch by hitting escape twice. So let me just show you what you're going to want to do to escape a game but not leave RetroArch. So I'll go to a different naming convention as well as this was a zip file. So let me just get a thumbnail. 
and then I am going to go to run. There's my favorite game of all time. But what you'll want to do is press F1 on your keyboard, close content, and now it doesn't escape RetroArch completely. Now one thing you may notice, it did not download the thumbnail. And the reason for that is the naming convention. So when you see the games listed at like this with brackets, the word USA or whatever country you're using, I find that these typically work best. So if I just go to Metal Gear, download thumbnails, it's in their database and there it is. We'll do the same with Mighty Final Fight. And there it is. But for some reason, it does not like this naming convention. So you would have to have your files, whether they be zipped or .nes, but you want them in this naming convention. I believe this is the no intro naming convention. But um, you can see it's pretty simple to add games. We are going to get a little more in depth with RetroArch as far as different systems. I think what I'll do after this video is follow it up with Arcade. Because Arcade seemingly is one of the most difficult things that people struggle with. Uh, you have to have different variations of ROMs depending on which MAME or FB Neo you're using. Uh, so that's going to do it for this one. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could hit that like and subscribe. But most importantly, have a good day.